Loft Day 6, Part 1, Day 6 of actual work. Uh, as you can see, those are 10 foot beams, 10 foot 4x4s. Four in order to stand them up in a 10 foot ceiling, I hacked off an inch. And I'm going to have to do that for the rest of them. I am going to have. Oh crap, I just realized I got to get another 10 foot beam in the middle back there. So that's going to be the structural support. And I also got to decide how much distance I want off the wall. I think I'll do two 2x4s. Two oh shoot, I'm going to need more space than that. I'm going to have to think about that and come back to that later. It's going to take me too long to think on camera. But, load up the car again. And this thing was slammed to the ground. Uh, I've actually pulled two of them out since then. A piece of the 2x4x10 uh, by, by feet long. Excuse me. And I've got them out in place. Oh, this one I lowered, but I decided that I needed up one more inch. So it's got to be 53 inches up to here. So it's going to have to come up a little bit higher. So this one's also going to be, they're all going to be 53 inches up to the bottom of these beams, 2 by 8s and then across it's going to be a couple of two by fours and then there's going to be uh, some triangles well some it's going to form triangles with two pieces bolted together <clears throat> and that's going to provide uh, I hope structural support to keep it from shifting uh, and you know I probably don't need it no, I'm going to do it anyway. I was going to say, I probably don't need it so much because these two, it's not likely they're going to shift. But, better safe than sorry. So I'm going to have to drag another one of those out. I bought seven of them because they're going to go on all three columns. They're going to be on the far ends. And then this one in the middle here in the back is not really going to be taking up that much space. So... going to have it there and I'm going to use six foot ones here in the middle for the other two columns and then start laying everything out and uh, check my measurements again uh, the reason why I went with 10 is because I'm going to have to put a tarp above because if you look at this unit this unit has definitely leaked before you can see all the drip marks down the wall and you can also see that nice big patch you know that's uh, that looks like it's leaked before I mean there's a lot of patches uh, there's a couple patches there patch over there uh, patches over here. So I was told this unit has never leaked before. Uh, I would disagree based upon the empirical evidence I'm staring at. So uh, there's going to be a tarp going across there. And I was going to run 2 by 4s up, but I figured what the hell. If I'm going to be changing out the post, why not just run up 10 feet? That'll take care of the issue. And uh, if I have to cut those down a little bit to get a bit of a slope, I may do that uh, because I want it to be, you know, high up there. Now that I think about it, man, maybe I should put that one in the middle because the middle one really needs to be higher than all the rest. And then, I don't know. So, anyway. This is what's going on so far. And I hate the fact that stuff keeps changing. <laughs>